I'm dying. Get the cockroach. I went through with him what I passed through, how I how I took care of him. And now he's doing this to me. Oh, oh am, I, am I losing it? No, you're not losing it. Is this okay. a dream? I just I don't I don't think I don't think it's the one. Okay. No, he is the one. The more you say this, the more it gets to me. I'm sorry. I know Frank. How can you be so callous? You know what? I'm going to go to my room. Okay? If you need me, if you need my attention, if you need anything from me, just hit me up and I'll be there. I promise. Okay, don't drive yourself crazy. I don't think it's the one. Okay, that's just me. That's just me. That's just me. Okay? Just take care of yourself. I'm, I'm in my room, okay? Don't beat yourself up too bad. Rosie, stop now. It's okay. Stop crying. Stop doing this to yourself. Eh? God has something bigger planned for you, but even though he's standing in front of your nose, you can't see it. Alex is in love with you. What are you saying, man? Man, how can you possibly say anything like that? I mean, how can Alex fall in love with me? Someone like me? In my condition? Why not? Listen, my dear. All you need to do is to stay strong and hold on. I know he loves you. The only thing is that he may not know how to approach you. Wait a minute, ma'am. Are you trying to tell me that someone in my condition can be loved again? But of course. Yes. Listen, my dear. I've been with you guys for some time now. I see the way he looks at you. He looks at you with his whole heart in his eyes. Everything, all the feelings, all the affection, it's in his eyes when he looks at you all the time. I was in your condition before. I had my first child in my parents' house. But I still met my husband. We got married. He loved me and I loved him before he died. Did your parents ever disown you? No, my case did not get to that point. But they were supportive somehow. Yours is different. It's not. I was disowned. You have us now. You have me. You have Alex. And we will always be there for you. We will always, always support you. No matter what. It's okay, my dear. Please stop. I'm trying. Please, it's not that please easy. my dear. Please. I'm it's trying. okay, my dear. Hmm? Please, please, it's okay, it's okay, hmm? sorry, so sorry. My car, my car broke down, I, I need your help. Um, I, don't, I don't understand, do I look like a mechanic, or does my luggage look like a toolbox? Hey, hey, hey. That was harsh. My brother only asked a question. Oh. You are his fighter, right? Well, I'm sorry. I am not a mechanic. No, and I, I don't know where you can find one. I'm not actually looking for... I'm not... Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not looking for a mechanic, okay? I just... My car is overheating. I need water. We don't have... That, that was rude. Why would she throw water at you? She gave us what we needed, okay? She has a good heart. She, she has Listen, a bad heart. She, uh, let me drop you off. Okay, once I cool down the car, I can drop you off. Thank you for the water, by the way. Thank you. I don't need your help. Okay, I can see you're not in a good mood. Um, I, Please, can you just let me be? I'm waiting for somebody and I don't, need all, I don't need all of this. I'm harmless, honestly. I can see you're not in a good situation right now, okay? But I'm not trying to do anything weird or anything like that. Like, I'm, I'm, I can see you're a beautiful lady and everything, but I'm harmless. I just want to take you to a place where you can calm down. Okay, you help me. I'm trying to help you out. Listen, I don't... I didn't mean to be rude. No. You I, know, it's just... I'm not in a good mood right now. Okay? I'm having a serious problem. 
and I don't want anybody to get involved. I'm pregnant. I got pregnant for my fiance, who is unfortunately late. He died in a car crash. My, my, my father never liked him. And then my father asked me to leave the house. Apparently he has disowned me. So I am not in a good frame of mind. I just want to be on my own. I don't want no issues, please. It's not safe. It's getting late. The sun is dropping. You can't be a beautiful lady walking on the streets on your own, please. I'm fine, my way. I don't no, no, know no, no, who no, 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 no. I'm harmless. I'm hum I'm, no, I'm not trying to, I know. I'm not trying to do anything. Like I, you're beautiful, you're sexy, you're everything, right? But I'm not seeing your beauty. I'm seeing your situation right now. So please, just let me help you. I'll take you to a place where you'll be safe. Also, you get yourself self together. Please, I'm begging you. Please, let me. Can I? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for letting me help you. And thank you for the water too. Yeah. It's not your fault the guy died. And your dad is only human. It's not everybody that can take the shame of the child having a child outside of wedlock. You know? But just give him some time. He'll come around. Please. Please. Okay. I'm sorry the way I spoke to you earlier. No, it's fine. It's fine. Please. So, I, Thank um, you for everything. It's okay. It's okay. I'm Alex. What should I call you? Dima Rosie. It's a beautiful name. Cute. Alright, stop crying. Please eat. And so you can rest. Okay? Alex. I'd hey. like to have a word with you now. Sure, 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 sure. Uh please eat, okay? I'll be back in a sec. Okay? Everything will be fine. So. This is totally wrong. You meet a rude girl on the street. Someone you barely know. You brought her to your house. What if she's evil? <sighs> Mimi, you don't have to know someone to help them. Okay, and Rosie is a good person. She's not evil. She's a very good person. Oh. Yeah. You know her name? Yeah. You know, I'm trying to understand you, but I can't. Send this girl back to the slum where she belongs. <laughs> Because there is no way I will stay under the same roof with this idiot. Reduce your voice. Jeez. Besides, she is pregnant for someone else. What is your plan exactly? Um, I'm sorry. I think your sister is right. I mean, I'm a total stranger. You don't even know who I am. No, 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 no. I'll just go. No, 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 no. It's okay. Sorry. I'll talk to my sister. Okay. Don't, don't even. Please, listen, don't. listen. I have been through a lot already and I do not want to be a problem to anybody. You're not going to be a problem to me. Okay, I promise you. I'll talk to her. She's I'll not happy with me. I'll talk to her. She's a good person. She's a really good person, you know. It's just that she's in a bad mood. Okay? Just eat. Okay, stop crying. Yeah? Mm. Thank you. Please talk to her. I don't like I her. I will. I promise you. I promise you. Oh, hello Rosie. Good morning. Hi, good morning, Alex. How are you doing? I'm fine. Yeah? How's your night? It was beautiful. You are ready to go out? Yes, I am. And this is for you uh, to get whatever you need to get for the day. Alex, who would ever believe that you didn't know me from anywhere? You are this nice to me. Thank you so much for everything you've done. God will replenish you in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. And I pray that God also puts me in a position to be of help to you tomorrow. Exactly. Amen. Thank you. Amen to that. And I was even going to tell you, um, I want to go out to search for a job. What? That's after I'm done cleaning. Yes. Why? I don't... I need to get a job. I need to help. I need to contribute to the running of the house. Ah. 
You do this all by yourself and it, the load is too much. I'm not complaining, am I? Have I ever complained to you? I haven't complained to you, okay? Besides, in your condition, you don't need to stress yourself. What condition? I'm not sick. I'm just pregnant. Besides, I need to exercise. It, it, it helps during delivery, so it's, okay. it's good for okay. me. Okay, you win, you win. Uh, why don't I drop you off at your job interview? Oh, no, don't, you don't have to. I need to still wash the dishes and, you know, tidy up the whole place. Oh, that me. might take a while. Yes. Uh, okay, I'll just head out then. Right. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. Madam, I overheard you saying you're going to look for a job. Yes. Who did you leave those dishes for? Those dirty dishes? No, I was still going to wash them. I just wanted to tidy up this whole place and then I'll go and wash. I don't care. I don't give two hoots. Get your cheap ass into that kitchen and wash those dirty dishes. Does this place look like the slum they picked you out from? Don't get me pissed, so wash the dishes. No sense. Amy, what is wrong with you? Must you always be rude to me? What have I done wrong to you? I don't know why you're always harsh. You just hate me for no reason. If I've ever done anything that you didn't like, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I will never forgive you. The only reason you will earn my forgiveness is if you get your daddy self out of this house. Don't get me peace, like I said earlier on. You don't belong here. Look at this thing. Who is the pregnant woman you have all in your house? I see Mimi has been gospel to you. Alex, you will answer my question. Well, it's actually not what you're thinking, to be honest. What would people think that you're having a pregnant woman in your house? I don't care what people think. Okay? I do what pleases me, what pleases my soul, that's what I do. I don't care about other people's opinions of me. And I'm single, I don't owe anybody any explanation. That's just you. Alex, you will not walk out on me. Alex, come back here! But I told you I couldn't make it. I told my goodness. Is, is that not my Frank? Or is this someone that looks like him? No. No, 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 it can't be him. What? Why is the resemblance so much? It looks so much like him. I was smart enough to have escaped her. And I was sure she saw me. Maybe she wasn't too sure. But she slightly followed me before I humped a tricycle and zoomed off. Wow. Hey, my guy. You need to be careful while you move around town. Hmm. Man, this is risky. You might, you might not be lucky next time. Uh, I'm nervous right now. So baby, I, I have to speak to my father. I made him understand that you're the one I truly love. And I want to be with you. So he decided to upgrade you to the level of the person who would want to have a son in law. At least for the beginning. He said I should give you the this check of 10 million. And very soon you'll be getting a car 
an apartment. Ten, ten million naira. Baby, this, this is huge. Oh, my love. Thank you. Thank you so much. You. Ah. Baby, I promise to make you happy, take care of you, and love you for the rest of my life. You know, there is no life in me without you. Thank you, my love. You're my love. Baby, I love you so much, and I'm so grateful. <laughs> No, this is nothing. I know my father. He will still give you more. This is just for a start. So that we want to test you to know the kind of person you are. Baby, you have totally changed my life. This God. is like a dream come true. And God has done it. <laughs> it's for us. Yes. I'm so happy. I love you. I'm so hot. I'm so hot. I'm so hot. All you do is lazy about in my brother's house with an unwanted pregnancy. Come to think of it, I hope you're not trying to pin that pregnancy on my brother because that would be over my dead body. I will not be alive and watch that happen. Always looking for cheap attention. If you want to cry, you have a room. Go inside your room, lock yourself and cry yourself to death. Nobody will notice. No sense. Hey Rosie, what's up? How's your day, man? You're welcome. Hey, what's going on? Why are you crying? I saw him today. So who? Frank. Frank? Rosie, you told me Frank was dead. It's okay, babe. Do you know what's going on? Your emotions are playing tricks on you. So you're seeing stuff that's not there. No, I was hallucinating when I saw him. I saw him and Okay. Next time you think you see him, just assess the entire situation. Okay, but be careful. But I'm telling you, he's probably not him, just someone that looks like him. Because no, no newspaper is going to carry, you know, that news without confirmation that he's dead. You know? The resemblance was just too much, too, that I couldn't catch up with him. Exactly, it's a resemblance. It's not him. <laughs> Babe, stop crying, please. please. You're going to break my heart when you cry, please. It's okay. Yeah. You sure you're going to be okay? Okay, no. Honey, why why are you doing this to yourself? Why? You have been like this all night. Why are you hurting yourself over a child that disobeyed her father because of a dead man? Why are you doing it? I've been trying to reach her on phone, but all to no avail. Besides, it baffles me how comfortable you are without her only child. You see? So sometimes I, I wonder if you ever loved her. How dare you? How dare you question my love for my daughter? I have to. Of course I love her. Yeah. And that is why I gave her the best of everything. But she betrayed me the moment she refused to abort that unwanted pregnancy. She chose the pregnancy over her own father. And I also would not want to jeopardize my political career. That took me years and hard work to build. I would do that over anything. Is that enough reason to abandon our own child? I said I will not do it. And I said, is that enough reason for you to abandon your own child? What nonsense. Thank you. 
Oh, Fred, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine, sir. Good. I'm, I can't tell you that the, the lady is here. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. I, I hope she's my spec. You know, I don't settle for <laughs> one match without that one. Trust me, sir. Uh, she's your spec, and uh, I believe you love her. It's okay. Let her. Take care of me in bed. <laughs> Come on, let me see what you got. Oh, oh, hello, you. <laughs> That's good. Hmm. What's her name again? Mimi. Mimi. In fact, I am going to appreciate this beauty with a very special gift. disowned her, you know, and uh, she's homeless, you know, in the town for me. So, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Sharpshooter. I know you have a plan. Uh, <laughs> You're helping her, you mean? Uh, uh, if I want a girlfriend, I can get a girlfriend now. I don't need to go and get a pregnant woman, you know. Ah, she's pregnant. She's pregnant, you know, for a late boyfriend. They were going to get married, but a fatal accident happened and the guy passed away. Oh, my God. Yeah, but the passing through a lot. She is. She, it's not easy. That's why I'm trying to tell my sister that it's not easy for this girl. But my sister keeps on insulting her, keeps on making the house uncomfortable for her. You know, I don't understand. Like, I'm trying to tell Mimi to calm down. You know? Uh, no, no problem. I will try and talk to Mimi to at least reconsider. Right. I'll talk to her. I really appreciate that. Because, like, the girl is really a good girl. You're done for her condition, honestly. I'd have, like, considered her. <laughs> Sharpshooter, I said it. Exactly. You got a plan. I'm not about that suit. You know, but you know they even hide your own self. It's well, uh, ha. you are considering her. Ha. It's all right. I know that some poor church rats cannot afford this expensive wristwatch from London. Thank your stars I'm in a good mood today. I wouldn't want it ruined by your ugly presence. seriously running low on cash. I need another rich chick to start from, else I will go completely broke. How? God. My guy is not a shit. You are the richest guy in town. Rosie and the father paid you well. So why are you talking about being broke? Girl, yeah, what's your problem? Huh? What are you actually? My account manager or what? But well, respect yourself, oh. I said I'm completely broke and you're here talking rubbish. Look. If I don't find another rich woman to start from, I am going to be completely doomed. And I can't take it. I have to do something about it. 
What are you going to do with that? That's the spirit. That's the spirit. I want to join your line of business. How far can you me No, don't join me. Be there and be wasting time with those broke girls. Oh, I know I accept. Okay, now I'm ready. So, how are you going to be? Introduce me. I want to be like you. You're ready? Nah. You. You need sugar, mommy. You sure you can handle and play along? I can't. <laughs> oh, no be problem now. I go arrange you one. But first, I need to tutor you on how to follow them. If not, the money will go drop. Fine. No starts now. Let me be here. No starts. And also, you have to be very, 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 very strong. You know? And you don't see my dinner in the morning. Did I make this meal? It's a lie. I made the meal. Look at how beautiful it looks. And see how I but you, you, hey, that's not, how you, I dished this. Put the, the sauce. You are it. not the one. Hey, hey sis, what's up? Hi, good day. You're overrating this girl. Oh my. How could you stoop this low? I am highly disappointed at you. No, 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 hey, 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 hey. I'm so sorry about that. I go on to her. Apologize. You know how she is. Don't let her spoil your mood. You're already spoiled it. No, no, we're talking about how I made this delicious meal. Check out how, can you just inhale, babe, just inhale. Babe. See how good that smells. I made that. I added some things to some things, and then I I I, I tasted it. And I was like, it needs you need more didn't stuff. make the food. I made it with stuff. I can things. sweat to it. Like, what do you mean by things? I Rice, beans, meats. Sauce. Okay, what are the ingredients? Sauce. What sauce? Like the He said they look for you. Uh, he said then uh, yes, miracle. Oh, miracle! <laughs> yeah, she's my lawyer. Please, uh, let her in. Uh, uh, I should bring her. I'll bring her. In. <laughs> oh, miracle is that my lawyer that I've been telling you about? Okay, the one you. Yes, saying. yes. Oh. <laughs> Who do we have here? Good day, Chief. Good day, Ma. You're welcome, Ma. Here I go. Please sit down. Wow. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, honey, mm -hmm. I meet a miracle. She's my lawyer. Yeah. Miracle. My wife, Linda. You're welcome, Ma. Thank you, Ma. So, what do we offer you? Nothing, I'm good. Uh, yeah. It's okay. If you insist, Chief, I will be upstairs. I'm sorry. She has gone upstairs. <laughs> Come and sit here. Come and see it here. She has gone upstairs. She has gone. Come and see it. Come. You didn't tell me you were coming. She 
Don't worry, has come upstairs. You have to believe me, Jenny. Okay, I don't have anything that I'm doing with Rosie. We're not doing anything. Okay, she just needs help. She's stranded, and I'm trying to help her. You know? So you became a messiah and you brought her into your home. Don't, nice. don't sound like that. Come on. Like, I don't even know why you're listening to Mimi's gossip. Mimi, why does she even hate Rosie? What's her thing with Rosie? I don't understand. Mimi doesn't hate Rosie. Oh, yeah. She only knows what's best for you. And she's trying so hard to make you get it. Jenny, I'm not doing anything with Rosie. Okay, we're not doing anything. I don't intend to do anything with her. Right? But just put yourself in her shoes. She needs help. She's stranded. I'm sure you could help if you wanted to. You know? Well, it's fine. Just make sure you don't stop so low with her. Don't worry. There's nothing to worry about, okay? Thank you. I uh, have to head back to my office. You look nice, actually, today. Always, but yeah. Thank you. All right. Mama! <laughs> Mama! Ah, ah. Mama, come! Mama, your son is back! Look at that! Mama! Mama, good to see you! So! You're looking good! <laughs> You're so healthy, you're so yeah, fine, Mama. Good, my son. I am, I am. Hey. Mama, the Lord Thank has you. done it for us. Eh? We are rich. We are made, Mama. Are you sure? Come ah. <laughs> Mama, Mama, eh? see. And I have a house in the city. I have a car. I have money. <laughs> Very good, Mama. I am going to transform this house. Change everything. Eh? So happy to see you. Ah. Mama, mama, mama. Mama, I have so many things to tell you. Eh? Oh, God, God has done it too. Yes, mama, let's go inside. Let's go inside. So welcome, welcome. Oh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Look at you. You're all dolled up today. You look beautiful. Thank you. All thanks to you. Ah, no. All thanks to God. And your parents, okay, for creating this masterpiece. Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, well, Madam Cena, yes, sir. this is Rosie, okay, she's very dense to me, she means a lot to me, okay? okay? I actually hired you to help me help her, right? Because she's overworked and she's pregnant. Really? Yeah, she's, she's pregnant actually. Congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. It's all right. I will take very good care of myself. I trust that you will, okay? And Rosie, I don't want you doing any other thing in this house, but to relax and look this beautiful. Okay? Thank you. No more house chores for you. I mean, you're pregnant. You can't be doing that. Oh, thank okay? you so much. I don't even know how to appreciate you for everything. Okay. God will keep blessing you. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. All right. So let me show you to your room. Right. You're welcome, ma'am. Thank you, my daughter. Oh. Right, this way. Why you? Why you? Why you? Why you? Hey, Mama. Hmm? If anyone comes here to look for me, tell the person I'm dead. Huh? Especially Rosie, the girl I came back with the last time. But no. God forbid. My son, you can never be dead. Mama, 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 this is just a game that gives me money. Of course, I'm not dead. But well, Mama, you have to pretend that I'm dead. Because right now, I'm a new client. And she's loaded with money. Don't worry, I'll bring her back the next time I'm coming. Hey! But no, no. Frank, Idariada, you fell this way. How can I fake my son's death? All in the name of your collecting money from your client. But no, no. I can never be a party mama, to that. No, 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 no. Mama, 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 don't do this now. Don't do this to me. Why are you worried like this? Look at me. I am strong. I am healthy. I am not dead. Mama, this is just my office. This is how I make my money. How do you think I was able to buy the house in the city and even the car I'm driving? Mama, it's from these games. You just have to support me and pretend that I'm dead. <sighs> my son. Mama. I've hurt you. But you have to be careful. Please. I really... My son is not dead, though. 
Mama. No, you have to be careful. I am careful, Mama. Nothing will happen to me. Don't worry, Mama. You see, eh? you see this new client I'm telling you about? Ha! Huh? She's loaded with dollars. Dollars, Mama. Don't worry. We are going to be so rich. <laughs> are you sure? Yes, Mama. <laughs> Just support me and play Mama, along. Who am I to say no? That's my mama. <laughs> that's my mother. Babes, I am very sure that that girl used charm on my brother. Do you know my brother went to the extent of hiring a house for that witch? Eh? Yeah. But we should not worry. I will make that house very uncomfortable for her. Now you are talking. But this is really surprising. Like, what baffles me the most is your brother just picked her up from the streets. Fell in love with her, just like that. Hey. Hmm. Mama, the Baba will do that juju for her. He's strong. Hmm. I go let her know, say, Demon! Senior Demon. That's my girl. I have an idea. Shoot. My brother Alex is very cute. He is every woman's dream. He is every woman's pet. I want you to come to the house and and visit him. I want to see if he will like you. B, this is a tough one. Do you think he will like me? Don't worry. I'll talk to him before inviting you over. I want to make sure his attention is diverted from that witch. I want to do everything possible to, to make sure he forgets about her. Alex, you know you're the only brother I have, and I want the best for you. There's something I would like to discuss with you. You'll like it. All right, go ahead. There's this friend of mine. Her name is Gold. She's very sexy and very beautiful. I want to invite her over. I'm sure you'll like her. <sighs> okay, invite her over. Okay, that's not a problem. And this is to prove to you that I'm not doing anything with Rosie. Okay, so invite the girl over. Okay, right away. <laughs> Alex, I really like you. Every woman would love to have you. You are every woman's dream. Allow me to love you. You won't regret it, I promise. <laughs> well, I appreciate your kind words, you know. I appreciate your compliment. Uh, can I ask you a question? Go on. Shoot. What kind of man do you want? <clears throat> um, uh, well, I like a man that smokes, mm. a man that drinks, a man that takes me to the club. I mean, a man that changed my wardrobe, that takes me around the world, buying me things. I just like my man, a man that is crazy, a man that can knock me out on bed. You know what wow. I'm saying? Wow. Wow. That means we are not too compatible, you know? Because mm -hmm. uh, I don't do most of what you just said, you know? Uh, yeah. About the bed thing, I mean, I'm pretty good there, but I'm not going to knock anybody out. But... Uh, the rest of the stuff you said, I, I don't, that's not me. So I don't think we're compatible. Alice, come on, we can work it out, okay? Oh, the mail we have is uh... Good afternoon. Hey, Rosie, you're back? Yes, I'm back. Okay, welcome. All right, I'll be in my room. All right, all right. Um, I'll be back in a second. Okay. Alex. I'll be back in a second.
Hey. Hey. I was scared. It was it was good. The the baby is ten weeks and also in a good position. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Is there anything you want to get for you? I don't know if you need anything. No, nothing. Okay. I'm in the living room then. Alright, take care. Oh. <laughs> oh baby. It's like I'm going to take you in bed and spoil you silly. Oh really? I can't wait. I can't just wait. Oh baby. Yes, then. You know you're the woman I will take to the altar and put a ring on her finger, right? Whoa! This is the sweetest word I've ever heard. <gasps> Baby! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Thank you! Of course, you're my girl. Thank you. Yeah. But, but, but first, I'll have to take you to the village and introduce you to my mother. Oh, again? <sighs> now I know you're serious. Of course I'm serious. <laughs> I love you, oh, man. <laughs> but um, sweetheart. Yes, dear. Um, you know you're yet to give me my last month of give money, and it's beginning to affect my oh, soul. Oh, don't just talk too much. I will even double it so that you can be able to shop for mother. Okay? Really? Yes. That's my baby. Come here, come to Baba. Oh <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You see, I'm so proud of you, too. Come on, let's go inside. Let's go okay. Get your I told you. I told you that your brother wouldn't like me. He was asking me so many questions like, what kind of man do you like? And I told him I like my men. I like men that smoke, drink. Men that take me out. Men that spend money on me. But he said he's opposite of everything and that he does not do all those things. And you know the worst part of it? Your brother left me in the living room and went after that pregnant winch. Ah! Oh God, why now? Hey, you don't get common sense. How can you go and tell a man that you like men that smoke, that drink, that do all that? My brother is not that kind of person. I'm sorry about how he treated you, but you messed up. I was just being real. You have to go back again. Yes, you have to try harder. You are doing this for me. This time around, you, you, you go back and tell him that you were just testing him. Yes, that you actually don't like him and that smoke, that in fact that he is your kind of man, that he is your spec. That's the only way you can get his attention. My brother does not like Ra's girls. You really have to go back and try harder. I forgot to tell you to move as a churchy girl. Just this time ah. around, be very humble, be very calm. I'm very sure if you do all this, you will win his heart. I'm tired. I'm tired. I don't I, I don't need all this. I need a man that will take care of me. A man like Chief. My I'm not in for all this. My brother Alex has plenty of money. He will take care of you more than Chief. Just try to win his heart, that's all. Please. Oh, okay. Are you going to do it for me? I'm trying now. That's, that's, that's just how they are. You see? You see? No, I see the boobs. 
So you are alive? Madam, are you okay? Oh. Of course I'm fine! Sorry, my name is not Frank. I'm sure you have me clearly mistaken for someone. Oh, don't tell me that! Don't tell me that rubbish! You are Frank! Your friend came to me with a poster of you that you had an accident and died in a car crash, but you're still alive! I mean, why would you do this to me after everything I did for you, Frank? This Ma is not fair! Madam, I don't know you! My name is Steve, I'm not Frank! Don't joke with me! This is you! Look at you! It's clearly it's a you. mistake, it's not me! How can you do person. this? How can you possibly tell Madam, me I, I hate embarrassment, Dave, please, we have Who to leave here right now. Who is embarrassing you? Let, 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 let's leave here, please. What are you talking about? Of this young lady, I don't know you! That you're gone into when we know this end. I can't believe what my eyes saw today. Frank is not dead. Frank is still alive. And then he lied to me. Even when I saw him, he claimed that he didn't know who I am. After everything I did for him, after everything, he denied knowing who I am. Okay, Rosie, just calm down. It's not that easy. It's not that easy. I know. I know it's not easy, but you're not just hurting yourself, you're hurting the baby. Frank is not your the end of your life, you know. He's not the whole of your world. You need to move on. Now you have Alex in your life. He can be your family. I can be the mother you no longer have. We can be your family. You don't need Frank anymore. Just just calm down and take it easy. Don't know. I just said I'm just soul. too hurt. I didn't I didn't believe he would ever do this to me. We loved each other. We cared for each other. I did a lot for this guy. I did a lot. I understand, but it's okay. Just take it easy and calm down. Stop doing this to yourself. He's not what it. If he could deny you, then he is not what it, my dear. He's not. It's not my daughter. Oh. It's okay, my dear. Just take it easy. You're welcome, sir. Hey. Rosie, what's up? What? I'm not fine. You're crying again. What happened? I'll be inside. Huh? Why are you crying? What happened this time? Frank lied to me. I, I saw him. I saw him and then and then he denied knowing who I am. Are you sure it wasn't someone that looked like him like that? No, no, no. It was him I saw. I know the man I had something to do with. I saw him and then I went to him. I was trying to explain myself. He said he doesn't even know me. He even, he even said his name is not Frank. Like his name is now Steve. How can he do that? Did you trace him? I had to because I wasn't, I wasn't okay. I had to trace him. He, he, he lives at GRA. Okay, I'll get to the bottom of this. Okay, I promise you that. I'll get to the bottom of this. Okay, but I think it's someone that looks like. No, him. he's friend. I'll get to the bottom. I don't know why he would do this hey, to me. No, I did a lot for him, it's you it's know. But this away, time is a dream. I wanna go. Good day, sir. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Uh, I mean, I'll be able to dress your house with this card with the rest of them. They get a house, the car was crossed by a car. Eh? Yes. A car? Yes. Where is she now? The police took her body to the city smudge. <sighs> Yes, honey. Please, I'm sorry. Honey, I finished myself. I've just pushed our daughter to her early death. She had an accident. Somebody just brought her belongings and said she died on the spot. Honey, please, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Please, start coming home. Yes. Hello? 
Hello, honey. Hey, okay. It's calling back. It's calling back. Hello, honey. Please give the phone to my wife. Collapsed. Hey. So where are you? where are you people now? Where exactly are you? Hello. Hello. Uh, get back. I'm so sorry about that. What was that? Guess what? What? Chief just lost his wife. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. That means you are the latest madam. You can say that again. Oh my god. <laughs> Baby girl, you are taking over. It's time for you to possess your possession. We on board. <laughs> oh my God. Money look good on you, baby. Aww. Aww. <laughs> You again? How the hell did you get here? Frank, why would you talk to me like Who that? is Frank? Excuse me. You. I need... Baby. Excuse me. Sweetheart. What's happening here? No, Frank here is my fiance. He's my man. And I'm pregnant for him. Excuse me, madam. First of all, his name is Steve and not Frank. Thank you. You can't just come around and start vomiting rubbish in someone's house. I am not vomiting rubbish, madam. I'm telling you the truth. He is my man. You, you think I'm lying? Okay, hold on. See, I, I believe this will convince you. Is this not him? He's my man. See, she printed that picture from the social media to blackmail me. This is how they go about scamming people. She's their new scheme. Oh, I see. So you went to social media to print my man's picture? <laughs> no, no, this, this is a failed game. So this is your new scheme? This oh. is how you go about defrauding people? No, I, this is oh. you, Frank. This is you. I you am Frank. I am Frank. Oh, no, Frank. Hold on. Hey, calm down. Hold on. I see. This is a game over. All right? As a matter of fact, I won't stand here to see this trash. Well, yes, baby. Let's go. Let's, Let's go in I have never Frank, met you before. Frank, Frank, Frank. Who is Frank? Frank. Frank. Don't ever come here again. I can't do this to me. Why would you be like this? I know, I understand you loved your fiance and everything. It's beautiful how much you loved him, you know, but this is not him. He's dead. I don't want to begin. I just feel I'm dreaming like I'm you're dreaming. Not, you're not dreaming. That is Frank. Is this not his picture right here? Yes, I mean. Honestly speaking, I, I regret everything. My wife died as a result of my action towards my daughter. I sent her out of the house. And now I lost the two of them, my wife and my daughter. What, what have I done to myself? What have I done to myself? Chief, God knows best. And you will repent your loss. You really need to forgive yourself. I cannot forgive myself. I cannot forgive myself. No. Well, you have to. And stop blaming yourself over everything. Everything will be fine. And I'm the wife and family you have now. I'll make sure you're happy always. Okay? It's okay. Um, it's all right. Thank you very much for always being there since this incident. Thank you. seeing you from the spirit world don't cry now if it's there you can see that you're going through a loss because of him that you're concerned 
And if he's still alive and he's the one we saw, then he doesn't deserve you anyway. So you should still move on. But I don't think that was him, though. You know, but like I said, please, please stop crying. You're a beautiful lady. Look at you. You look ridiculously beautiful. And not just physically, but emotionally and intellectually, too. You're attractive. Any man would want to make you his wife. And I know that for a fact. Okay? I'm going to do everything in my power to make you happy again. That's a promise to you. I promise you. But how could you do this to me? It's Frank I saw. I know the man I dated for crying out loud. What about his picture? His voice? His stature? I know him full well. How could he just stand in my face and lie to me? This is very heartbreaking. I totally understand. I know what I, I went through with him, what I passed through, how I how I took care of him. And now he's doing this to me. Oh, oh am, I, am I losing it? No, you're not losing it. Is okay. this a dream? I just I don't I don't think I don't think it's the one. Okay. No, he is the one. The more you say this, the more it gets to me. I'm sorry. I know Frank. How can he be so callous? You know what? I'm going to go to my room. Okay? If you need me, if you need my attention, if you need anything from me, just hit me up and I'll be there. I promise. Okay, don't drive yourself crazy. I don't think it's the one. Okay, that's just me. That's just me. That's just me. Okay? Just take care of yourself. I'm in my room, okay? Don't beat yourself up too bad. Lucy, stop now. It's okay. Stop crying. Stop doing this to yourself. Eh? Hey? God has something bigger planned for you, but even though he's standing in front of your nose, you can't see it. Alex is in love with you. What are you saying, man? Man, how can you possibly say anything like that? I mean, how can Alex fall in love with me? Someone like me? In my condition? Why not? Listen, my dear. All you need to do is to stay strong and hold on. I know he loves you. The only thing is that he may not know how to approach you. Wait a minute, ma'am. Are you trying to tell me that someone in my condition can be loved again? But of course. Yes. Listen, my dear. I've been with you guys for some time now. I see the way he looks at you. He looks at you with... His whole heart in his eyes, everything, all the feelings, all the affection, it's in his eyes when he looks at you all the time. I was in your condition before. I had my first child in my parents' house. But I still met my husband. We got married. He loved me and I loved him before he died. Did your parents ever disown you? No, my case did not get to that point. But they were supportive somehow. Yours is different. It's not. I was disowned. You have us now. You have me. You have Alex. And we will always be there for you. We will always, always support you. No matter what. It's okay, my dear. Please stop. I'm trying. Please, it's not that please easy. my dear. Please. I'm it's trying. okay, my dear. Huh? Please. Please. It's okay. Sorry. So sorry. Hey, Mama! Ah! Mama! Come here. I've missed you. How are you? Good day, Mama. Yes, baby. You're welcome. Thank you. Good My baby, Mama. You're welcome, baby. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, well, eh? <laughs> Thank um, you, Mama. <laughs> let's go in. Yes. Us one. Hi. Baby, let's go. All right.
Hey, my son. Mama. I want us to discuss something. See, eh? You see that lady you came back home with? I don't really like that woman. My son, how can you be thinking of getting married to an older woman just like her age? God forbid, it will not happen. Mama, no one am alive. Mama, stop. Stop this now. How many times do I have to explain to you that this is business? Mm. It is from this that I make money that I use in buying my cars and house. Mm. I have told you before. Look, Mama, I am not going to marry her. Mm. Yes, I am just doing all these things to convince her that I love her. So that she'll be able to give me more money. Mm -hmm. Now, hey, Nam, mm -hmm. stay in that your line of business. What happened to the other young lady you came back home with? I like that one, though. I love her. That one is young and beautiful. What do you think about her? Mama, forget about him. I am done with her. You are done, what? Yes. And like I said, if she comes here asking about me, tell her I died in a motor no, accident. God forbid. My son cannot die in a motor accident. Obviously, Mama. Mm -hmm. Just pretend and tell her that I died in a motor accident. This is game, Mama. I've told you before. This is just game. Okay? You have to do it for me. I'm joking. I'll pay you. Mama, let me um, go inside. I'm sure Monica will be waiting for me. Mm. Hey. change. Your sister now rose with a high and mighty in the society. I picked the car from my fiance's garage. You like it? Isn't it beautiful? Your fiance? <laughs> come, come, come. Let's go celebrate. Come with me. Your sister levels don't change. Hey! Good day! This car looks like the car my father bought for me on my graduation day. Oh my god. This is a coincidence. But this is too close of a coincidence. And it even has the same plate number. Hmm. Or well, could it be that my father sold the car? I know Mimi doesn't know any of my family members. Hmm. Well, I should have been complaining because I've lost everything. I leave everything to God. Mama. Please. You are going to manage this month inside this bag. You hear? Right, no, I no. promise when next time you come here, eh? hey, I will do one. <laughs> Just manage me. <laughs> this little thing is to show you that we are coming to my family. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank Ma you, Mama. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Thank you. I am going to miss you. I will miss you still more. Baby, let me hold that for you. Okay. Ah, Mama, right. all this. <laughs> oh. Let her manage it. Mama? Huh? This is for you. Eh? Hmm. All this for me? Yes, Mama. Oh, you come. Mm -hmm. Eh? Oh. No more. Yes, 
Mama. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, as you can see, your daughter-in-law is perfect. Over. <laughs> so subsequent visits will bring you more things. Okay? I beg. Well, no more. So we have to be running along because we have a long way to go. Uh, um, well. But do take good care of yourself. I will. If we there's anything, plenty money. call me. No problem. You want to go? Give her the bag. You want to go? I don't want us to carry anything. Uh, yes, right there for you. Thank yes, you. Mama. Yes, mama. Very carefully. Okay, right, mama. mama. Your mother is very nice, and I like her. Hmm. That is my mother for you. You know, she's very fun to be with. And I can tell she really likes you. <laughs> she said so much about you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Honey. Yes. It's now I know you love me. You have proven your love to me by introducing me to your mother. Mm. And I will do everything humanly possible to do everything I promise you in this life. Really? Yes. And you speak my language, baby. Mm. I love you. I love you. I love you. And don't forget the $3,000 you promised me. You're going to add it up. Yes, I will. I will even do more. That's my baby. Come here. <laughs> Auntie, Auntie, you're back. I'm back. Oh, oh how is the baby? Oh, the baby's fine. I just entered my third trimester. Oh, I see. And where is Alex? He just went out to see a visitor off. A visitor? Male or female? A female visitor. I guess she is his colleague in the office. Mm. Alright. I know Alex can wait for me to put to bed so I can reward him for everything he has done for you. And for everything he has done for you, he has done it because he loves you. He specifically instructed me to prepare something sweet and spicy for you before he went out. Are you serious? so sweet. Yes, it is. I can't even thank him enough. I don't even know how to do that for everything. But God will reward him. Amen. Let me go continue with what I'm doing in the kitchen. Mm. Let me help you now. After this, oh, you want to come and help me? You're tired. Sit down, relax. You're I not yourself. Do one or two. I know you can, but hey, these students are still active. Sit there. Your lunch will soon be ready. Okay? Mm. All right then. I don't like how you always hurry me each time I come around. I told you, there's someone that lives with me, okay? She's a lady and I don't want us to get the wrong impression, you know? I don't understand, Alex. I thought you said you guys are not together. We're not together. We're not dating or anything, you know? It's just that I told her I was single and I like that impression to remain the same, you know? You see, what about me, Alex? Don't you feel a thing for me? Beep, this is your opportunity to know Chief well and get to know more about his financial status. Babe, shine your eye. Babe, you don't know me again. I just the pet Chief, make you forget him wife and daughter. I go show her around with plenty love. Baby girl, delay is dangerous. You know he hasn't married you legally. Anything can happen. So, it's left for you to get pregnant for him to tie him down. Now that he does not have a child. Stop stressing yourself. Hmm. Chief that I know loves me so much and is willing to do anything for me. And as for the pregnancy, I am on it. What if he get another girl? No fits. Babe, all these big men, they are too secretive. I know why I'm saying this. Chief cannot play that kind of game with me. I go kill the girl. The girl go bye. <laughs> I don't talk as Demi for Mouth. Shine your eye. Shine your eye. At least he goes with me say I be friend too. Yes. Yeah, 
I don't believe you. Do you know? I tried to convince Rosie on the phone you had me, but she's still putting more pressure to find out that if you're still alive. But you know what? Never end there. Trust me, I'm still looking for more evidence to prove to her that you're dead. One time. Thanks, man. Thanks. I really appreciate. I mean, what are friends for? Yeah. You know, <clears throat> I don't know what is wrong with Rosie. She has confronted me severally. And I pretended as if I never knew her from anywhere. Just to convince her. But she's still insisting and pressurizing. Man, I don't tire her. But tell you what, there is no pity in this game. And the end thing remains money. You can't say Your that focus again. should always be on the money. Badness G. Badness G. That's what you want to know. Introduce me now. You are my baby. Look at us now. I will be like you. What's up you now? This is for Tom. This is for Tom. This is for Tom. This is the first time we are going to make more money. It's sure. all about format. Yes, sure. You use the right format, mm -hmm. you go enter. That's what it be now. Mugu must follow. Yeah. Um, Brian, this is for you. This is for you. And Dave, this is for you. That's 100,000 naira each. Who now is that? Who got it now? That's the be now. Bad guy! <laughs> Bad guy! Take out! Manichi! Eh? Hi! This guy don't blow my head! Small they come! Brian, if you guys be like this, you will be correct three times, especially when driving. Like, you hear that now? You go back your head! They move! Eh, for my head! That's it, they are. Alex didn't come to work today. And I've been calling his line, he's not taking my call. Jenny, you've been calling this guy and he has not been picking. Don't you think that you're forcing yourself on him? Come on, girl. The other day you told me how he hurried you out of his house when you went to visit him. Babes, if that guy truly loves you, he should be the one calling you and not the other way around. You need to get a grip of yourself, girl. Bella, you're right. I think I'm being too crazy about this guy. It doesn't make any sense. Going after a man that doesn't even give a fuck about me. But then again, Bella, this guy has everything I need in a man. Alex is... Alex is so intelligent and he's so cute as well. I don't know what to do. I'm so confused. Wow, I know. I understand how you feel, okay? I do. But please, you have to slow down. He should be the one to reciprocate your love back. Please. Like this. Frank, even in my condition, you're doing this. My God will judge you. Frank, my God will judge you for this. No problem. Oh, please take this elsewhere. I don't know who, who you're trying to blackmail. Ete, come here. Ah, Oga, you see that woman? Yeah, the one walking. If I ever see her anywhere close to this place again, you will be sacked. Is that clear? 
Yeah, 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 yes, sir. Now open that. Time is a dream. I wanna go. Everything you promised to me were all lies. Thought that I lost you, but I lost myself. I gave you everything, and you took everything away from me. Everything you thought that I lost you, but I lost myself. I gave you everything, and you took everything away. Losing my mind, don't think I can do this no more. It's time to let you go. Uh, hello, sir. Oh, yes, I'm back from the market. Yes, I bought everything I need. I bought the items for the salad, the cabbage, lettuce, cucumber, green beans, green onions, um, green... Yes, I bought the green pepper. <laughs> Definitely, I will buy that one. Yes, I bought some chicken too and fish. The drinks and the cake are in the fridge already. Oh, Rosie said she was going to the mall to pick up something. I'm not sure what, but that was what she told me. All right then, sir. I'll see you when you come back. All right, sir. Yes, sir. You should stay and celebrate that with us. Well, today is my fiance's late daughter's birthday and he's doing a remembrance for her. I can't afford to miss it because, what do you call her name again? Rosie? Nah, no, I can't. It's her birthday. If there's one day it should be nice to her, it's her birthday. I don't care. Excuse me. <clears throat> so you know what they told me? Yes, I You know, like, any of the new guys, you know, like... My daughter, today is the memorial of your birthday. I am sorry for everything I did to you. I still blame myself for your death. I allowed my political career to overshadow my sense of reasoning when I sent you out of the house. I cannot forgive myself. Today adds plus one to your years. Wherever you are, please forgive me. I still love you. Please accept my sympathy. If I can turn the hand of time I will write every wrong that I, I did. I allowed ego and affluence to rob me of the most precious gift that nature can ever give. Today, I have wealth and everything that money can buy. But I'm still not complete because of the vacuum you created. Oh God of second chance, if there will ever be cheating marrows lean Benson in my life, I will wash your feet. Your need shall be my want. Your worries shall be my priority. Dima, you are, you are the daughter of a great lion. Please rest on wherever you are. Rest on my daughter.
Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I can't believe that. <laughs> I can't believe this. Honestly. God bless you. Thank you so much for celebrating me. Welcome, I wasn't expecting all of this. <laughs> but you said that blue was a very color, so the cake is blue. Oh yeah, I say so. You're so sweet. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow, to Tina. Oh goodness. I don't even know how to continue my excitement. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Wow. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rosie. Happy birthday. How old are nah, you? Nah, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Many more years to you. Yes. Many more years to you. Yes. 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 So many more years to you. Enjoy. 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 Yeah, of course, it's Jesus. Can you lean all the way down or do you need me to lift it for you? I'll try. Okay. I'll cut my cake. Yes. Yes. So, J. Okay. E. Yeah. S. S U. Yeah. S. Yeah. Have a seat, have a seat. That's right. Have a seat, please. Yes. So, which one do you want? I promise to remain for You're oh, here. Yes, mommy. Uh, uh, I need a massage and a hot ride. Mm, I bet you do, huh? Don't worry. I'll give it to you. And how? Oh. Like that? Yeah. Like it? Yeah, it's so sweet. Oh. 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 Tell you what, baby. What? Let's take it to the room, huh? Oh, that's right. I will give it to you. Hot, hot. You know how it is. Let's go. I can wait. Good day, Mama. Good afternoon, my dear. You're welcome. I'm here to see Alex. Oh, I'm so sorry, but he's not around at the moment. I see. <sighs> Mama, there is something I need you to do for me. Okay. What is it? Uh, before then, hold on. I want you to have this. You can keep the money for the moment. What exactly do you want me to do for you? <clears throat> Mama, I really need you to talk to Alex. I mean, I want you to make him see reasons with me. I really love Alex. And... That was the reason for the money, I guess. But you see there, money is not everything. I'm a woman and the mother. So I understand how it feels when a woman is in love. But you see this thing called love, it is something that should be allowed to come naturally. You don't force it. If you allow it to come naturally, then it can get reciprocated. Mama, I know. I know, but I don't know what is wrong with me. I can't really say what is really wrong with me. I've 
had several breakups, and that's why I don't want Alex to pass me by. Just look at me. I came from a rich home. I have a very glorifying job. But when it comes to relationship, um, I don't just get it right. It's okay, my dear. It's okay, okay? Just calm down. Just take it easy on yourself. Like you rightly said, look at you. You're a beautiful woman. And you have a good job to crown it. All you need is a little patience and God's time. I know you know about God's time. And when his time comes, he will definitely give you a man who would love and cherish you for yourself. Okay? <sighs> okay, Mama. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I should be on my way now. It's okay. You take care of yourself now, okay? You too. Bye. Take care. Um, <clears throat> Ken. Yes, Chief. I must confess that uh, I love your push since you became the manager of the company. Um, Let's keep it up. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Um, <clears throat> what about the... Please give this to Rosie, yeah? Let her buy anything she needs. Rosie, okay. running late for work. All right, then, no problem. All right. All right. See you when I get back. No problem. Have a wonderful day. All right, thank you. Alex, I love you. But it hurts that you don't reciprocate this love back to me. It feels like you don't even see me. You don't even give me attention. All because of that pregnant lady in your house. Hey, hey, hey. let's leave Rosie out of this. Okay? She's just a lady I'm helping because of her condition. You know? Alex, I really do love you. Look, I came from a wealthy home. Because I'm the only child of my father. I can give you anything you want. Just say. As long as you just love me back. Listen, Jenny. You're a beautiful lady. You're really beautiful. Your body is ridiculous. Jenny. Any man out there who would love to be with you. Just, just give me some time. You know, just give me some time to, to decide and, and, and know what is right to do, you know? That's all I ask. Fine. I've heard you. But don't forget that I love you. With everything in me. I really do. Look, if you want me to talk to my father to make you the head of this chamber, I will do it for you. You know I can, and I do. Babes, do you know I offered Chief's manager a check of one million just to reveal Chief's will to me, but he refused. I even doubled the money. The idiot declined. I went to the extent of seducing him. He no agree. That will not be case now. That will not mind my case. You don't know what to do. So you don't know what to do. Okay. Tell Chief to fire him. It's sap. Chief will not fire him. Chief loves this guy so much. He's always saying good things about him. He said since the guy became the manager of his company that his company has been doing well. So he will never fire him. My dear, you need to shine your eye. Shine your eye before soap go enter your eye. This is a golden opportunity for you to become rich. You and I know that Chief loves you so much and he is ready to do anything for you. All you need to do is just ask. Remember, he is not legally married to you. Anything can happen. So my dear, play your game well. I'll handle this idiot before he spoils things for me. The spirit. 
Sorry to bother you. But you see, my dear, Alex and I have come a very long way. And I do not want anyone to mess it up for us. So I ask, what exactly is your relationship with Alex? Well, I would say that Alex is like a godsend to me. He's been so loving and caring, nice, ever since I've been staying in this house. He's been a good man, basically. That's all I can say. He's a nice person. But why, why do you ask? to have your baby if that's what you want but just talk to him for me i love him oh i've heard you i've, I've heard you i'll give it a thought i will thank you so much sweetheart yeah I think you should relieve your manager of his job. I'll get you someone that can do it better. Why do you want me to sack my manager? I mean, Ken has been putting good effort into the company's offer. Honey, I think it's high time I told you the truth. Your manager has been making sexual advancement towards me. The last time at the cemetery, he winked his eyes at me romantically. He's been pestering my life to date him. You mean Ken did all that to you? Yes. In fact, he's fired. He's not just fired, but I will make sure that he does not get any benefit. He is fired. You know, I, I wanted to hide it from you, you know, but I told myself that if I don't let you know, someday with the way he keeps pestering my life, he might just rape me. You dare not try such a thing. In fact, as we speak, he's already in the labor market. He is fired. Okay. Guy, when you get that feeling, make sure we both see it. Okay. So that way she will be convinced that I'm truly there. And also, specify in the affidavit that you're using it to assess my bank account. So that way she'll be totally convinced. You understand? Well, that one must not matter now. As far as I'm concerned, I'll tie it down. Good. Yeah. Good. Oh, man. That girl loves me. Sure, I know. That girl truly loves me. She was here the other day and she was reminding me of how we used to celebrate her birthday. Good memories. Ah. But what can I do now? I don't have a choice. I'm a street guy. And so I have to play her now. Bad guy. It's been one man himself. You say he's mad possible. lady came here and she said she's ready to change my life do anything I want she can't even fly me abroad to have my child that all she wants 
is for me to speak to Alex on her behalf. This lady in question, how does she look? She is fair in complexion, average in height. I mean, that's, that's, that's all I know about her. I mean, that's all I can say. This young lady came to me a few days ago asking me to do the same thing for her. She even offered me money. She claims she is the daughter of the person who owns the company where Alex works. And she's the only child, the only daughter, and she's built to inherit everything her father owns, which she said she wants to enjoy with Alex. But that is not enough for you to do this to yourself. <sighs> Why are all of these things happening now? This period that I'm about to have my child and try my luck. I mean, what becomes of me? I don't even stand a chance at all. I don't even know whether the man that got me pregnant is still alive or dead. Stop doing this. And now stop. this. Lucy, stop. Stop. You're not just hurting yourself. You're hurting the baby too. Listen. God has a plan for you. I believe that. I know that. Just be strong. You need to be strong. You, make, you need to make yourself strong. It's not that easy for me. You don't know. It's not easy for me. She stands a better chance. I understand where you're coming from, but take that off your mind. Be strong. Alex works for her father. Let me ask you a question. Are you the one that writes destiny? Are you? Who is inside yours or his or even hers? I advised her to look for someone else, so please take your mind off her, okay? Yeah, it's, not, it's not written on her face. She's so desperate to have Alex. Just stop. Be strong. Okay? You need to be strong at this moment for yourself and for your child. That's the most important thing. We'll take it from there. Let me get your food. You need to eat some. Right back. God, what? Why is this happening now? Why? Jeremy, you need to see how Jennifer's been trying to build a strong relationship between us. You know, she's been, she's really been trying. You know. You mean it? Why, why are you wasting the golden opportunity? Why won't you hit up and marry her? Knowing that uh, she's from a rich home. I don't know, man. Something is telling me to wait. You know, just not to rush it. Oh. Know? Is it because of the pregnant lady in your house? And you're not even the father? How can a full-grown young man like you be going for a half-used, second-handed woman? Hey, don't you ever say that again. Yeah. What's that about? Is it her fault that the person that was going to buy her died? How would you disrespect her like that? Why? Let's see, calm down. I what can... did she ever do to you? What's that? How can you disrespect her like that? What did she ever do to you? Uh, Rosie. Yeah. She has not eaten all through today and she's been crying all through. Uh, did she complain of anything? Did she? So I think you just need to see her, please. She doesn't need this in her condition and it's not good okay, for no, her. Okay, no, no, I'm coming to see her. Right? All right, sir. I beg no thanks. I have to go check out what's going on. I'll be back in a second. Yeah? This is serious. Oh my God. So that's gotten to this level. Rosie. I heard you on your brand new. What's going on? Is this your hair? Oh, oh sorry. sorry. What's going on? No, there's no problem. Yeah? Just that. Um, I have full faith in God that that even if I leave this house today, everything will still be fine. Alex, you're a wonderful person. I have never seen a man as amazing as you are. I give it to you. I appreciate you for everything. I'll keep saying it. I and appreciate you too. Thank you. But it would be so bad that I would be the one to restrict you from forging ahead with your future. What is it? Why, why are you sounding like this? I don't understand. Why are you sounding like this? In I don't a, like how you're sounding. In a month or two. Yes. By the special grace of God, I'll put to bed. 
And of course, I'll bounce back like every other young girl out there. Okay, again, I'm sorry to say, but I don't get why you're sounding like this. What's the problem? Is there a problem? Did I do anything wrong? You if I did anything wrong, please just let me know. You haven't done anything wrong. Because I, I don't understand. Why, why sound like Calm it? down. You understand it. Okay. The other day, a young lady approached me and offered me money to stay completely away from you. But I told her that I have nothing with you, that you you are like a god sent to me, but maybe she didn't want to believe me. You were just at Rosie, please take this from me. Don't worry about anything. I know who that lady is and I'm going to handle the situation. I know what to do. It's under control. Please, 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 please. I know what to do. Please don't let it get to you. I beg it you. It is getting to no, me. No, no, don't I don't have it, strength. No, I told you, I don't even think about stuff like that with this condition, babe, please. That's what I'm saying. I have enough body already. I understand. Please don't even let these people interfere with the delivery of this baby, please. I beg of you. I'm sorry for even bringing these people into your life. Inadvertently. You know, I'm sorry. Like, yeah? What are you eating? I've lost appetite. No, you've lost appetite, but the baby hasn't lost appetite now. The baby says to eat now. Okay. Yes, Chief. I invited you here to inform you that you have been fired. Yes. I've instructed my secretary to prepare your sack letter. You'll be fired. Um, Chief, um, honestly, I think I know where all these things are coming from. But, Chief, there is something where the workers are saying that you're not saying. Don't give me that. Don't give me that. And uh, I also know who asked you to sack me. Oh, so you know? Yes, Chief. You know who asked me to sack you? The fact that you know goes a long way to prove my point. Now get out of here. Chief, they say... Yeah, get out of here before I call the police on you. I said get out. Pick your phone and get out. What nonsense? I said get out! You have the infantry to tell me. You know who has me to sack you. Oh. I thought I was dealing with someone. Monica, you know I love you so much. You have been longing for this opportunity. Dave, what if your friend comes here to meet us? What will be my condition? Shh. I don't think so. I don't believe he'll even come back in the next two months. We have all the time. <clears throat> Oh, no, dear. Oh. 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 What? Oh! Mommy! Oh, no! What? Dave? Dave? Then how can you betray me? I'm sorry, bro. I You're sorry? Monica, why? Am I not good enough for you? What does he have? What What do you want in a man that I don't have? That's why all the hurt and everything. Please, I'm so sorry. Please. You're sorry. Please. Yeah, of course you're sorry. You know what? We are done. I want you out of my house and never to come anywhere close to this place again. No. No, baby, no, no, no. And I mean it. No, no, no. I'm gonna step out. By the time I come back, I don't want to meet you here for any reason. <laughs> Nonsense. Please, honey. Come back, honey. Oh. Oh. Um, Rosie, I came to inform you that your late fiancé with all his birthdays to her. Um, this is his um, affidavit. I'm going to the court to see if all he has been. Concept. 
Brian, can I at least take you to the man that looks exactly like my Frank? Can I? Rizzi, we've thought about this. But if you insist, maybe one of these days I'll follow you there. Or bear in mind that Frank is dead. I can't even take you to his grave. So is that the reason you brought me out? Well, I feel like to inform you, to show you the necessary things, so you can know that you're dead and forgotten. I'm sure that you're dead and forgotten. I have not forgotten him. I haven't. Lizzie, I know how you feel. He's my friend also, my best friend. I feel the same way. But trust me, he's dead. Can I have... Can I have a copy of the affidavit? Sure, you can have one. It's all right. Okay. Have a nice day. Okay, please take it easy. Okay. Sweetheart, this is Austin. He's a master degree holder in business administration. I would appreciate if you make him the new manager of your company. I assure you, he will not disappoint you. Mm. Well, you already know I trust anything that comes from you. He's got the job. I'll instruct my secretary to get his files ready. He will reach him on Monday. Oh, thank you so much, Chief. I'm very grateful. Oh, come on. Thank you. Uh, no, you thank don't have to thank me. Thank my beautiful lady here. I can do anything for her. Chief, thank you so much. Oh, come on. You know I trust your judgment. It's okay. All right, thank you, Chief. It's all right. I'd like to take my leave now. It's okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, all right. Monday, eh? All right. Thank you, sir. It's all right. Austin will do better than Ken. You, you know I trust your judgment. Let's see how it goes. Chief, come with me. I want to show you something in the bedroom. Hey, oh. Hey, It's all right. Okay. Hey. Hey. My fiance's friend was here earlier today. I told you so. Why do you keep on calling him your fiance? How can a dead guy be your fiance? And even if he's not dead and he's some guy that's pretending not to know you, he doesn't deserve you. So why are you giving him that title? Oh, sorry, sorry. You said that his friend was here today and taking with an affidavit. He said Frank wheeled all his properties to him. And he'll be going to court so that they can grant him access to his bank account. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. That guy never loved you. He didn't even will anything to you knowing that you're carrying his child. What kind of man does that? He didn't will anything to you, anything to his friend. What's that? What's that? I don't understand. You see, it's it's really painful, but it's fine. I just I just need to see Frank's mother. He introduced me to his mother when he was alive. And the woman was very nice to me. So I need to meet with her. She'll be the only one to tell me the truth. I will go see her. I need to. Yeah, well, you have my support. You always do, you know? Just let me know when you're ready. I'll give you some money. Okay? Thank you so much. Mm. Dave. Hello? Dave, are you hearing me? Okay. Now that the relationship between me and Steve has crashed, and you know that you are the cause of everything, you haven't even called me on phone since then. Why? For crying out loud, you are 
Steve's friend and you are in a better position to talk to him. I love that guy so much, I don't want to lose him. Please. After all I've done for Rosie, she doesn't even care about me. She doesn't love me. She keeps on going on about Frank every time. Frank, 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 Frank. Calling him, he got he, fiancé. How could she even do that in front of me? No regard for me. You know what? I think I'm going to give Jennifer a chance. Are you not Rosie? Yes, I'm Rosie. The young lady my late son brought home the other time. Late? Yes. No, Mama. <sighs> Don't tell me that Frank is really dead because I saw someone that looks exactly like him in the city. And that is why I've come to confirm if he's truly dead or not. Like Frank? Yes. My daughter, look at where they buried my son. My only son. No. No. I am so full so. No. No. You and I were like fireworks. What we had to share was real. You took the very part of me. Now you left me in this lonely world. I told men to be in a sort of perfect way. They know that the swallow of our house will soon be gone. Hey, Frank. Oh, Frank, you men they go. Oh, 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 oh,
I'm so tired. Like I took a moment. Is this real? Go, guess who is calling? Alex is calling me on the phone. Pick, pick, pick him out. Pick, go. <sighs> Hello, Alex. <laughs> oh, my God, babe. That's so sweet of you. You see how I can change the director's name and fix your own, just like you instructed. Good. You know, I put you there so I can be able to execute all my plans. And um, so as to help you. Because I love you so much. You don't have a problem, my darling. You see, consider everything done. There is no, there is no cause for alarm. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you too. Mama, you're always busy doing one thing or the other. Jennifer, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. So what are you preparing? I want to prepare a little laugh and soup. Okay. Yes. So what should I help you do? Okay, let me start with the onions. I don't get. You know how to cook. Of course I know how to cook. Really? Listen, Mama, when it comes to love, I can practically do anything. I know I love Alex so much, so I just have to do anything that make him happy. I I see. That's all right. Um, Mama. Yes, there. There is something I want you to do for me. And what will that be? Um, Mama, when you're done cooking, I would please want you to put my food and Alex's food in the same place. You know why? Because I would want to feed him. Um, <laughs> sure, no, prob no problem. I, I'll do that. Thank I'll do you. that. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I can't wait to have that again because it's going to be so dangerous. Uh, yes, yes, it will. Dave. What's up? This is like a dream come through for me. I mean, this is one of the happiest moments of my life. He don't get it. I. Thank you. I love this moment. I love this moment too, baby. Alex!
is everybody? Oh, Mimi, you're welcome. They are at the hospital. Rosie has put to bed. No, she has not. Her BP rose and she passed out, so they rushed oh. her to the hospital. That witch. I don't know why she doesn't want to die. Hmm? All she knows how to do is to spend my brother's money and shed crocodile tears. Anyways, when my brother comes, tell him I visited. I will do that. Oh. <sighs> Babe, I can't... Oh, Sir Alex, how are you doing? How are you doing? I'm fine. See, the situation is this. Your wife had a shock, a very critical one. And because of that, she is having acute anemia. It seems she's thinking a lot. Yeah, she's going through a lot. She's going through a whole lot. You know, she's going through so much. And I just want to be there and help her, you know. Okay, she needs blood. Yeah, anything she needs, anything she needs to feel better and get back to her best, just give it to her. Please just make her feel good. Uh, I'll pay for it, but money is not an issue. No problem. Yeah. In that case, I suggest you head over to the counter and make some deposit. I'll make the deposit right, right away. Okay. But I, I, I'm sorry, I hope the delivery date is not due yet. Um, it's not closed, but just. It's closed. It's around the corner, but it's not closed. Okay, I'll, I'll, make, I'll, make the, I'll make the payment. Okay, sure. Which way? Just. Uh, this way, that's the word. Okay, it's this way. No, this one. Okay. Thank you. My daughter, how are you doing now? I hope you're getting better. I'm getting better. I'm that. And I saw Alex. You see that lady? Oh, I was in my set. I couldn't just go with you. I was trying to take off. I'm sorry about that. And I understand how you feel. Your confidence is very low because Jennifer comes from a very wealthy family. She's an only child, so apparently she's the heir apparent to her father's dynasty. And Mr. Alex works in their chambers. But but then asking yourself a question. Does Alex love her? Because if you ask me, you are the one Alex loves. <laughs> How do you know that Alex loves me? How sure are you? This is an example. What? The blood. When the doctor told him that your blood was very low, he donated his blood for you. Yes, I am. Now tell me, can somebody just wake up on a very good day and donate his blood or her blood to any random person who he does not feel is for? That's a simple and significant sign that this man loves you. Oh. Oh, bless Amen. And bless you too. Jennifer off your mind. She is not a competition. She is not. Believe me. Okay? Is there any special thing you would want to eat? Let me rush for my guest to drink. Just that I'm mm -hmm. to know that sugar, I guess. Mm -hmm. Club. Oh, sir. Ah. What is it? There is fire on the mountain. What fire in which mountain? What is pursuing you? What's the problem? Dave is gone. I was on my way to the bar with Dave. Mm -hmm. He car double crossed us. Before you know it, two guys came down with gone. The other guy was checking us with the picture he had. Luckily for me, I wasn't the suspect. They checked Dave and shot him dead in my very presence. 
don't know the game playing, but it's becoming bloody. I managed to escape. You mean death is dead? Death is dead. What? Who could have done this? I don't know. I think Monica did this. Yes, Monica. I think Monica did this because she felt Dave tricked her and disrupted her relationship. I am convinced she killed Dave. But I'm not moved one bit. I am done with her after all. I caught her cheating on me. I won't fall for this cheap drama. And I will get to the root of this matter myself. This is unbelievable. Yes. So you know Dave is gone just like that? Shot me my very presence. Oh. Man. It's okay, man. Cheer up. Cheer up. Um, I have a surprise for you as well. Um, Mommy! Chocolate drop! Yeah, baby! Hey, come here, baby. Best friend, Brian. The one I told you would be our best man on our wedding day. Mm. Hello. Hi, person. Actually, my friend has told me about you. Oh, I can't wait for you to march to the altar and say I do. Mm. And I can't wait for you to be there. Oh, yeah. Mm? Yeah, I'll be there, sure. <laughs> um, wait. Has your father do anything? Nah. You know what? Let me get something, alright? Yeah, baby, run along. <laughs> yeah. I'm coming. Okay. Sweet chocolate. Man, I'm sorry about it. Well, we'll figure it out, don't worry. Oh, no. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the latest one. Sit down, just sit down. Sit on the mountain. Sit down, down now. Life goes on. Sit down. Sit down, we'll get to the root of the matter. What, what, what are you telling me? What exactly are you telling me? How can you lose 10 million naira in the first month of your employment? How much is your salary? Now you're going to lose 10 million naira in my company. How much is your salary? I'm asking you. Do you know what it takes to make money? Um, Chief, please calm down. Yeah. We are doing our best. Yeah. You know the economy is very bad. And customers are not turning up. Don't give me that nonsense. Don't. You had better sit up. Or I will unseat you. And I hope you know what that means. I will try my best, Chief. Get out of here. Chief was very, very angry about the 10 million naira we pulled out from the company account for our last weekend Dubai trip. I know you're not used to this kind of job. You're finding it difficult to cope. Don't worry. I'll handle the situation. Well, if you say so. It's just that Chief was very angry. He even threatened to sack me if I did not sit up. And you know, this is not my feed. I'm just doing it because, because of you. Chief cannot fire you. I have him right here, in my palm. Whatever I say, stands. Come, come to mama. Come and eat me up. Make me happy. Come. Oh. <laughs> come, cross your leg over. Cross. No, 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 no. Come this way. Cross your leg. Yeah, baby. That's it. That's right, right, right. You know what? So Get to the bed. Let's, let's ride. Yeah, oh. Um, so I just got here from the doctor's office. And he said that you're good to go. So. We can head home now. Why are you doing this to me? What am I doing? I gave you my blood. And I'm trying to take you home. What did I do wrong? There you go again. Why are you pretending as if you don't know what I'm talking about? You are killing me slowly. And you're asking me what I'm saying. I'm killing you slowly. 
Yes. Lucy, how? You are not a child, Alex. You know exactly what I'm talking about. <clears throat> okay, I think you're stressed out, you know. Um, so, well, let me just take you home so you can relax. Okay? Do you want a little food on our way? Bella. Rosie, what? Why are you like this? Eh? You just got discharged from the hospital and you're already like this. What is this one now? Look how he dropped us and left. He didn't even care to stay with us a little. Joy must have gone to see that girl. That is sweet girl. <laughs> are you serious? Am I sensing jealousy or something? Eh? <laughs> you know Alex is not like that. He can never do that. He must have gone back to work to check the workload on his table. All this while you were in the hospital, he was there with you. I'm sure that's must, what he must have gone for. And you know Alex loves you, and I'm very convinced about that. The things he did while you were admitted was proof of his love for you. The only person who can do that for you is your father, your mother, or your husband. Mm. Mm -hmm. Do you know that girl? She loves me a lot. Mm. And you want to allow that bother you? It's not your business, now that's her business. Let me let you in on a little secret. Small gossip. While you were in admission, the doctor was addressing him and, as your husband and he never denied it. Are you serious? Yes, I am. I couldn't help overhearing them when they were talking because I was seated very close to them. Now come. Come go upstairs, freshen up so that I'll get you something to eat. It will be better if you rest lying down, you know. I don't want to sleep like this. Please, just me to I will allow you because you've been lying down all this while in the hospital. But I'll soon come back to drag you upstairs. Yes. All right then. Yes. Okay, my dear. Uh, uh, please, I need your signature. Uh, right here. Um, Alex, could you please say it? Actually, I was rushing to finish up this contract agreement sent to us by Chief Benson from Sons Limited. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, Chief Benson is one of our biggest clients. Yep. Oh, please, spare me a few minutes. Well, I just want to say I'm sorry for the whole drama and stress given to you by your pregnant guest the other day. Oh, oh, that's nothing. Well, thank you for your patience at the hospital. You know, you have patience with someone that's supposed to be your rival. That says a lot about you. You're supposed to be your rival and you have patience. Wait. Well, it's nothing. You probably know I can do anything for you. I really appreciate that. That's great. Thanks. Can I ask you a favor? Uh, yeah, you can ask me anything. Is there going to be another date? <laughs> I need to work on this, okay? Uh, we'll talk later though, okay? Alright, take care. You too. Valentina, Valentina, please, uh, hello, how are you doing? I'm very well, sir. You're welcome. Yeah, please take these to Rosie's room, yeah?
Pois é, foi. These are some of the things Alex got for your baby's delivery. All these? Yes. Oh no. What have I done to deserve all of this from Alex? It's way easy, I need to thank him. Uh, he just left him maybe after he dropped them. I think maybe he went to get the other items. The rest he of the things he brought are in the store. He left? Yes. What is happening? I think Alex is avoiding me. It's quite unlike him. Rosie, you think too much. Like you said, it is quite unlike him. And I don't think Alex has reason to avoid you. Maybe he had some other items he had to pick up from the stores or maybe he went back to the office to do something. But whichever way it is, he's definitely going to come back soon. Meanwhile, I still have something I'm doing in the kitchen, so should I put this in the closet for It's too. Lord, not again, not again. I don't know each time I want to be happy like this. Something comes to disrupt it and make me unhappy. Now that Alex is doing everything possible to make me a happy woman, I don't know what is diverting his attention. Father, please, I don't want this to happen. Please, I beg you, please. Honey, the money you brought will not be enough to take Mama to the hospital. The doctor says she has high blood pressure, ulcer, syphilis, malaria, acute fever, oh. even monkey paws. Hi. He even said they need to run some scan on her. I don't want anything to happen to my mother. She's all I got. She's all the only thing I have. Honey, I was even telling her about you, and she has been clamoring to meet her daughter-in-law. And now this, this illness, this illness wants to spoil you for me. Shh. Hey! Nothing. Nothing will happen to my mother-in-law, okay? I'll make sure I do everything possible for my mother-in-law to get back on her feet again. Then we'll go to the village and see her. Honey, th th that's exactly what I'm saying. That's, that's what I want. If, 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 if it's possible for you to, you know, bring in more, more, more dollars so that we can send her to the hospital. Imagine, the doctor even said that her BP is 500 and that is too critical. It's okay, sweetheart. It's okay. I'll give you extra $3,000 to add with the $2,000 you have already. Huh? Yes. That's, that's $5,000. I just hope it will be enough. Yes, of course, then it will be enough. Yeah. Yes, yes, come here. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you, baby. You're such a lifesaver. Oh, thank you. I love you. It's okay. I love you. Just, just give me a minute, okay? Yeah. yeah. Oh, baby. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Oh. oh. So my mother is not going to die. Ah. Baby, God bless you. Ah. Hey. Oh, boy. This woman is paying, you know. My daughter. Rosie, why are you doing this to yourself? Hmm? It's late already. You should be in bed by now. Alex is not back. Look at the time. It's almost midnight. Don't worry, I'll wait for you. Rosie, Alex is an adult. He can take care of himself. In your own case, you have an unborn child in your womb. You, you cannot do this to yourself in this condition. You need to go and lie down. I'm not doing anything to myself, but I have to wait for him. 
Rosie, I need you to go and lie down now. Whenever Alex comes back, I will come and let you know. Rosie, please. I know, but just come lie down, okay? Please. I will let you know once he comes back. I will. I promise. No, it's not him. It's not him. <laughs> but are you going straight to your house or the office? <sighs> Bro, this drama is stressing me out, man. I'm all worked up. You know? I'm even avoiding my own house. Can you imagine? It's got to the level that. I'm avoiding my own house. I, I understand, but you are my friend. You're always welcome to my house, any day, any time. But I wouldn't want it to look as if you're deliberately avoiding your house. I'm sure Rosie will be looking for you. M must be worried even last night that you didn't sleep in your house. What do you want to do? Huh? It's, I'm stuck between the rock and the hard place. There's no safe haven for me if I go to the house. I'll be falling in love with Rosie with her condition. If I go to the office, Jennifer's making advances of me, you know? She's you not know, having me paid for the last month at my chambers, because I'm working for Jennifer's father. They haven't paid me for one month, and I'm sure that Jennifer is holding back that payment so I can come close to her or whatever she wants. I don't know. Bro. Uh, you see, I, I see reasons with you. But that lady in your house, if you like that lady, I think her due date is near. Then she put to bed and you guys can start up something. Yeah, but we don't know who her baby daddy is, like if he's alive or dead. Like, do you have know? <laughs> that one is it's complicated. It's complicated. Man. We don't know if the guy is alive or if he's dead yeah. or if. I don't Story know. Behind it. But that means Jennifer is the option. You understand? You get married to Jennifer and you have a lot of things to gain there. Become the boss of the office and the husband as well. I uh, appreciate your concern, man. I have to head out. Mm -hmm. Yeah? It's all right, man. All right, man. Take care. Keep out it, too. You're using one stone to kill two beds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Becoming a boss and even a husband. Yeah. Face, yeah. <laughs> I told you I was going to handle the situation. Mm. Chief has finally fired that useless idiot of a manager. Wow. I got him a new manager who happens to be my boyfriend. Ha! You bad. Chai! Mm. Hey, I carry nyash for you. In fact, I raise breath for you. <laughs> but then, babe, one thing is remaining. Get pregnant for him. Get pregnant, give him a child so he can will all his properties to you. I don't want you to stay here and then his brothers and sisters from the village will come and claim everything. Wait, sweet. I don't understand. You've been trying your best. Is it that Chief is impotent? No. It's not possible because he already has a child that died. Honestly, I don't know what to do. This whole thing is giving me concern. I am pain. <sighs> Hello? I was calling to know if you were my brother. I've been trying this line, but he's not picking up. I tried calling him the next day. His phone was switched off. What? Has it got into that? Take care. What's the problem? Babes, I need to go to my brother's house right now and sort things out. It's all right. But calm down. Just take it easy, okay? I'll talk to you later.
have to end it. End what? No, you, you. I want you to stay here. I want you to keep staying here. Don't end your stay in my house. My I miserable want... life. What? Yes. Yes, what you do. What are you talking about? What's the... Whoa! No, what are you doing? Stop. What's this? Stop. Just look. <laughs> Don't, 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 don't. What are you doing? I don't like Where'd you even find this? Where'd you get this from? What is this? Crazy! You Babe, you're loved! You're loved! You are! How dare you do that to people that love you? How dare you want to do that to people that love you? I'm depressed! I'm here for you! I'm here for you! I lo you're loved! I love you! People love you! Please! We need you here. We need you here. We need you here. We need you here. Okay, please. I'm begging you. It's okay. Please stop crying, please. Don't do it to the people that I love you. Get me depressed. Don't be. Well, let's get through it together, babe. I promise you. No, I don't want to No, let's get through it together. I promise you, babe. I promise you. We are going to take every single step together. And everything's going to be fine. Yeah, people love you. Too many people love you. You and I were like fireworks. I love you. What we had and share was real. You took the very part of me, you know. Now you left me in this lonely world. Mm. Thank you, baby. I'm coming. Honey! Baby! Hi! Sweetheart! Hi! Hi! Baby! God forbid. Not my own son, Frank. No, now my son cannot die. God, please. Please save my son for me. Please come. Ba, I need to call you. No.
Daniel! The phone is ringing. Let me check this. Oh, sorry, it's not starving. Yeah, he's having his breath. Oh, Mama, how are you? You had a terrible dream about him. And you want to see him in the village. Oh, okay, no problem. Once he comes out, I will tell him he's in the bedroom. I hope you're fine, Mama. All right, take care of yourself, okay? Honey, I thought I heard you talking on the phone with somebody. Ah, sweetheart. Is actually your mom. My mom? She said she had a terrible dream about you, that you should come to the village. Oh, come on, sweetheart. I told you my mother has lots of malaria and fever. It's probably symptoms of malaria speaking there. I don't think so, because she sounded so serious about this. I think we should go visit her. Then I'll use the opportunity to meet my mother-in-law. Ah, ah. Dad. <laughs> All right. Okay. That's fine. That, it's a brilliant idea. Yeah. Anything for you? Yeah. Please come here. <laughs> what do you ah. want? <laughs> you know what I want. Get your ass here, girl. <laughs> <laughs> come here, bad girl. You know who this is. I saved you your food. You refused to eat it. What's the problem? I'm not in the way to eat anything. I lost appetite. My love, I have told you to stop thinking. I don't like your mood and it's affecting me. Since um, my friend just switched and visited me with um, his daughter, I started missing my daughter again. Can you imagine? She's the one managing his genders, and I pushed my own daughter to, to her death. She would have been the one managing my company if she is to be alive. I am here to forgive myself. I know you miss her so much. I also miss her too. I, I know if she was alive, we could have been friends. You know, we would have been doing things together and all that. And I, I have the same feeling that her age is close to mine. Yeah, you're almost the same age. So maybe. You might be a year or two older than her. It's okay. Yeah. Um, you said um, you wanted to go and uh, visit your brother. How did it go? Hmm. Chief, my brother brought a destitute into his house. He is housing her, feeding her, doing everything for her. Destitute. As we speak, they are threatening to sack him in his office because of this same girl. What's that supposed to mean? Is your brother that cheap? Anyways, I'll talk to him when I see him. I mean, he's my in law to be. I, I wouldn't want him to behave like that. It's okay. It's too. Who could he bring a destitute to the house? Somebody he barely knows. He just met her on the road, the next thing 
he carried this girl to his house. Remember me? No, I don't. But the face looks quite familiar. Oh, the lady you came to the house the other day accusing her man, Steve. Frank? I, I, I hope I'm safe. Oh no, there's no problem. You are quite safe. Um, besides, I'm no longer with him anymore. Steve, Frank, or whatever he calls himself, I'm no longer with him. Have you been able to see your husband or your fiancé? I'm really not interested in that anymore. As you can see, I am heavily pregnant, just coming back from Antinental. All I need right now is to have my baby and be fine. I don't care whether he's still alive or dead. It's not my problem anymore. Here is my card. Call me whenever you're in good mood, okay? All right, have a nice day. Can I give you a lift? No, no, don't worry. I'll take a taxi. The doctor said that I'll be due by next week. Really? Congratulations, that's, that's great news. Thank you. Um, guess who I saw today? Who? Monica. Frank's woman. She told me that, um, that she wants to be my friend and gave me her card. That they're no longer together. Mm, that's complicated. No. You have to be careful with her. I mean, it could be a set up. Right? Yeah. I think you have a great point there. The same. <gasps> Ooh. Sorry. You good? Perfect. So next week, huh? Yeah, ne so he said, but take a look at it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, I was an art student. I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> but it says next week. Exactly. Okay. exactly. That's all I need to know. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Do you need help? Like, do you need me to get you anything or? I want to go inside. You're going inside? Alright. You sure? Mm. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll be back. Okay. My little. Yes. Have you eating? Have you eating something? Uh, don't worry about it. You've not even come to sign to pick up your check to get your salary. I mean, your friend and your madam has been calling you and you're not picking. Do you, I don't know, do you think this is the right thing to do? Then I need to mind up. I need to, you know. Jennifer's trying to exploit me because I work for her father's company. You know, but I'm a man. I'm a full-blown lawyer and I'll survive, you know. Honestly, I'm even thinking of quitting that law profession, you know, so I can face my aviation studies. Well, that's still good. But you know, you have to graduate before you become a pilot. And you have to be feeding from your legal profession before you graduate from the aviation school. Of course, you know you're doing a part-time study. 
and you know how the program is it won't end easily you know that jennifer loves you so much the problem is I'm in love with this lady in my house, you know? I just don't know how to tell her. I don't understand. How can you be in love with a pregnant woman that you're not even the father of the baby? It's not her fault that the person I impregnated her died. I mean, they were going to get married and the, the guy passed away, you know, had an accident. And ever since she's been in this house, she's been responsible and principled. You know, I can't just put away everything I've been working for just because Jennifer's dad has money. It doesn't, it doesn't work like that. Oh, Alex, you have to think about this, please. You see, okay, let's look at it this way. You are going to be with Andy and CEO of Justice Firm. Then I call it. Justice Uchindu's associate will be attending your wedding. You can imagine what that means. Think about it. It's a tempting offer from you know, being honest. You know what? I think Rosie needs to give birth before I can make up my mind. I can't make up my mind right now. Ah, uh, I can't say much anymore, right? It's alright. I have to get back to the office. Be on my way. Okay. Say hi to the police. I will. I will. <laughs> You're welcome. Please pick up her phone, please. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. See you. All right, take care. Mama, make sure you take your medicine, huh? <sighs> Sorry, Mama. <laughs> My daughter. Hey. Baby, easy. Yeah. My daughter-in-law, mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. Mama, welcoming you were mm -hmm. when you came in. I was so sick. Mm -hmm. I noticed. That was like giving some money for a trip. Uh, yes, she actually gave me a lot of money. Five thousand dollars. Eh? Fa <laughs> anyway, no. God will bless you for me. Amen. See, oh, I have finished welcoming you to my house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're going to win one now. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, Mama. Ma. Whenever you need anything, don't hesitate to call me. Eh. Oh, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Yes. Eh. You see, you know, eh, I don't know. When are we going to see their house? Oh. Very soon, Mama. Eh. Very, very soon. Sure, eh? Yes. You know me so far. Eh. <laughs> oh my peach. Hey, hey. Nah. Baby. Mm. Yeah, come on, baby. Uh, okay. See that? Okay. Um, let me just see her briefly, yeah? Okay. Wait for me in the car. Okay, mama. Oh, okay, I'm a Okay, okay. Alright, baby. Yeah. I'll be with you, huh? In the GFX. Nah. Hey. Do you know that old cargo you came back home with the last time you came home? Monica. Oh, yes, Monica. <laughs> he came here pleading with me that I should beg you that you should wake up happy. That you caught her with Emma. That her lot. Uh -huh. I don't ever want to see her close to me nor you again. Uh -huh. Mama, don't ever have anything to do with her. Mike, Negika. Do you know what happened? Hey. And you could have me also. Good. I take her out of Good. You're supposed to know what That's my do. mama. I <laughs> trust you. <laughs> my balance. This is chicken dog is one nigga. What balance are you talking about, mama? Jane said that she gave you five thousand dollars. And you came and gave me five hundred dollars. Eh? Mama, I can't give you more than five hundred dollars, oh. I gave you more than five hundred. I gave you six hundred dollars. Mama, what? Hi. Mama, 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 mama. Mama, wait now. You know, I have, I have a lot of commitments. Oh, yeah. add, add this one. Just add it. Add it. It's enough. Mama, let me go. Jane is waiting in the car. Take care of yourself. Be careful. Yeah, I will. I will. Baby!
obeying. Right. I'm in my fiance's house. So, Steve is now your fiance. Steve. Anyway, madam, it's obvious you just lost your way. My fiance's name is not Steve. His name is Daniel, okay? So. Oh! Ho ho! Ho ho! Oh! Now! Steve! Is no longer Steve. He's now answering Daniel. Eh? Madam. Hey! Wonder shall never end. Hey! <sighs> anyway, it's it's obvious you're done here. Let's uh, take Madam. care of this woman. Meaning? <laughs> Madam, well I it is finished too. <laughs> Madam, I beg the go at it. Madam, Madam. Don't touch me! Ha. Well, I... Madam, you, even you that I used to dash money and feed in this same house, you, Ete? Madam, no be my fault. Now, our guy is to you. You know that if I don't do as our guy, I will lose my job. Madam, I beg the go. Ete, come. Eh? Come. Mata, come. Come, Ete. Have it. Madam. <laughs> Madam. Come, 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 come. Who is that woman? Madam, no gun you wife be that oh. Madam, thank you, thank you. Thank you, madam. Discovered is this as far as you have money and you can do undoable, you can win. Mm. He will come and suck you, and he will just suck you dry. He will suck you dry with all this sparking. After sucking you dry, babe, he will move on to another. And, and his specialty is old cargoes. If you see this one, it's almost 90 something years. Mm, somebody help. If you see this one I saw in his house, hi! I wish I collected that girl's number that day I met her. Yes, it would have helped. Hey, God! I pray that that girl calls me. Please, God, let her call me. How will she when get your number? How? I gave her my number. I pray she calls me. I need to teach this boy a lesson. We need to team up. Hey, man! I'm coming down. It's okay. I can't come down. No, no, no calm down. <laughs> it's okay. It won't come on. It's okay. Ah! Oh! Ah! Madame Tina! Madame Tina! Oh! 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 What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? It's... Take me to the hospital. You're in labor? Oh! Cletus! Cletus! Ah, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Cletus! Cletus! Let's go outside. The cat is. The cat will. It's in Oga's room, it's in Oga's room. Come, 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 let's help her today. Just come. Sorry for not picking up your calls, you know, and for giving you an attitude. I'm sorry about that. It's okay. 
I mean, the most important thing is that you're here with me now. I've missed you so much. Oh. Hello? Well, I'm saying that's why you're calling me. Hope everything is okay. Okay, no, no, no. Calm down, calm down. I'll be home right away. Okay, I'll be home right away. Yes. I have to go into the house. I need, I need to get home. Okay, Rose is pregnant. I mean, Rose is in labor. She's in labor. Could you start the call, please? What is all this? Each time we want to have good time, this girl always obstructs it. There's no time for this. Please, we need to get to the house right now. Please, just start the call. Let's go. I'm Come doing on. that. of frustration is this? God, why are you trying to punish me with this pregnant lady? Each time I want to have a good time with my man, this lady just... She will always be an obstacle to me. She will always stand as an obstacle. This is really exhausting. This is so exhausting, God. I beg you, I beg you. Just, just take her life in that hospital. Just take her life. Kill her for me. Just kill her. Kill the baby. I can't stand this madness anymore. I can't. I can't. I can't.
to the arms of love, baby. Come back to me.